What we need to do is to have a broader view of thinking. We need to understand. We need to talk. We need to innovate. We have to start from scratch. We need stronger health systems. We have to restart to talk about the health systems. We need each other. We really need to get together. Develop a stronger partnership approach. To build ownership. To look at these things in totality. We need to have a new normative way of looking at health systems. We need systems thinking. Systems thinking. Systems thinking. Systems thinking. What is system thinking? It's easy for question, but it's very hard to answer. <laughs> it's a holistic approach. It's a way now of looking at the system as a whole and not looking at the pieces. Oftentimes, when non-health systems researchers think about a problem, they think about it only in terms of one dimension or one of the building blocks of health. They have been addressed in a manner that is in isolation. Half people were talking human resource alone. Your others were talking on health financing alone. Your others were talking on governance alone. But we now have the building blocks of a health system. Everyone now accepts that a health system is, deals with the governance, the leadership, it deals with the financing, it deals with the human resources, it deals with the medicines and technologies, it deals with the informatics, and it deals with service delivery. So those are the, the building blocks of a health system. But they also provide us now with an approach and a, and a way of getting hands-on this health system, to intervene in this health system and to understand where its weaknesses are. So there is a relationship between the different building blocks. And if you target one building block, you affect the others. So in, in effect, they're dynamic and interrelated. If a system is functioning, if a state system to deliver services to its population is functioning, you can deliver education through it. You can deliver health care for tuberculosis. You can deliver health care through malaria. But if that f system doesn't function, you can do none of these things. The human mind is not really designed to look at complex systems on a regular basis. We are so specialized with a specific topics or themes that is very difficult to think in a more broader perspective. The big challenge is really the paradigm shift from linear thinking to this kind of uh, fuzzy logic, I'd say. Bring people together is the only way we are able to change the health system. You need to bring right people on the right time on the right topics. The engagement is, is important and they buy in from all the stakeholders. We always think about the usual, I mean, usual suspect, which is the Ministry of Health, that is really responsible for, for health system. Uh, they, in fact, they are only one player. If you bring the right people to the table at the early point and say, what will this do to your part of the system and how can we make it better? So no longer looking at a financing intervention as just a financing intervention, no, but looking at it in terms of what it will do in governance, what it will mean to human resources, what it will mean for the information system and how they will interact, how they will react, how they will respond over the long term, not the immediate term, uh, to be a better system. I think what we need to do at the moment is uh, first making people understanding the concepts and understanding the artificial barriers which we are, as experts, we are creating. Cost a little bit more, requires a little more intellectual effort, requires more participation, more ownership, more engagement of people who work in these different parts of the health system before we intervene, before we tinker. So what I would like to see is, to, is a network of um, institutions or individuals working with countries, developing capacities to think about scenarios, think about options. So what would be that way forward? The report throws out some ideas for that pulling together the thinkers in systems thinking and elaborate further on the report on the kinds of approaches and methods, how to create a community of practice, how to build leadership capacity for these approaches, how to change curricula for public health schools in developing countries and elsewhere so that this becomes mainstream, becomes normative thinking. The book offers very clear steps of bringing together different stakeholders and those who would be able to participate in strengthening the health system. For me, it's untested, but it's exciting enough to be applied right now to some complex interventions, and let's see how it works. And when we start to do that, we will find that we could design that intervention better. We could mitigate against negative effects. We could take advantage of synergies that we hadn't thought of. We could change that intervention a little bit so it will actually work 
the way we expect it to work. I think if we pay greater attention to understand the link between the health systems and system thinking, we may go a long way in making very significant contributions to the improvement of uh, health systems.